Hello everyone, welcome back to another 50p hunt. We've got another 250 quid here to have a look through. And this is episode 14 of us trying to fill the book. Let's see where we're up to and what we're still needing. Still needing the Kew Gardens on the first page. Got everything else. We're needing a WWF there. And then we're just needing a ton of Olympics still. We did though find canoeing recently. So we're up to seven Olympics now of the 29s. We still need 22. We do have wrestling though, which is one of the harder ones to find. Everything else we have. All the Potters, Newton, and everything up to this year so far. And in the back here, we just got our territories. Two different years of the Jersey one there. The dolphins and the ships there. So Battle of Trafalgar, that one, I think. And I did manage to find that one with the error that I threw back by accident last time. And then we've got our South Korean find as well in there. Before we get into this bag, let's have a look at the key dates from last time. And there was two of each of the low mintage dates. Two 2008 Britannias and two 2017 Shields. Let's put them suitably to one side this time so they don't end up back in the bag. And let's get into it. So it's all sealed bags this time. the Q, WWF, and a ton of Olympics we need. Um, anything that we can find is nice. And of course, as usual, we'll look for key dates and errors in a close-up inspection afterwards. And I'll let you know if we find anything of that manner to begin with the next episode. It won't be long because I've got another bag here with me, so in the next couple of days we'll get another hunt out for you guys. There's our first find. Tammy Johnson's Dictionary, very common of course. 2005. Followed up by Paddington Bear at the Tower of London, which is one of the 2019 Paddingtons. No triple, unfortunately, but we do get a Christopher Ironside. Three finds in one bag, can't grumble. And a Benjamin Bunny as well, which is another very common one. The most common, in fact. And there's another Paddington Bear coin, but it's a different one. This one is at St Paul's Cathedral, which is the other one from 2019. So we'll pick that little set of two up nice and early. And there's another at the Cathedral. Come on, out you come. <clears throat> well, there's one we don't see that often anymore. Very nice condition as well. And that's the Team GB from the 2016 Olympics. Pretty common though. But becoming more scarce, as I said. I don't find that many anymore. With the new Team GB one coming out 
this year for the 2020 Olympics. Presumably will strive more people to keep the uh, 2016 one as well. And there's another Paddington at the Cathedral. And then we have Public Libraries, which is a common find. Oh, nothing in that bag. Lots of Paddington's. Another at the Cathedral. Wow, very slow. Hope everyone else is having better luck than me recently. There's another pattern in the cathedral. There's another Christopher Ironside, which is one with we do find a surprising amount of those still. I guess it does look like a fairly generic design, so maybe people who don't collect don't notice that it's actually uh, something a bit special. There's another pattern in the tower there. And 100 years since the representation of the People Act. Another common one. What we want here is that nice Olympic find. Get one of these Olympics ticked off. That looks like it's an Olympic, but it's not an Olympic. That's Roger Bannister's four minute mile. Common one, that one. 2004. Another Samuel Johnson's dictionary. Must be about halfway through now. Plenty more time to find something special. There's another people act. I was saying in the last episode, the uh, lack of territories and things like that. When I first, I've not been collecting that long in the grand scheme of things. When I started, maybe what, 18 months ago, I find loads of territory coins all the time. It's so, so scarce now. Here's another pattern of the cathedral. The amount of us guys all now collecting has, has boomed. 
This is Jeremy Fisher. Another common one. We'll put it on a different line, shall we? 2017 Beatrix Potter. Stick Benjamin Bunny down there as well. Oh, Tom Kitten trying to escape. And there we go. That's one way to rattle out the 2017 set, isn't it? Tom, Tom and the uh, 2017 side of Peter Rabbit, one after the other there. And there's another pattern on St. Paul's. Seems to be a theme for this area. Lots of cathedrals still around. Other people are saying the opposite though, around the country, so... I think the fight is still very much alive between Team Tower and Team Cathedral. Pledge your allegiance now. Personally, I wouldn't be too surprised if Sherlock said I'm in the to both of them. There's another tale of Peter. There's a 2018 there. Hopefully not People Act. Oh, it is. Unlucky. Of course, we found Flopsy recently. We found, I think we found Peter in the very... The 2018 Peter Rabbit in the very first episode. We haven't found one since. 28 Potter, 2018 Potter is becoming extremely scarce now. Well, always were, really. There was maybe a couple of weeks where if you were lucky, you might have got your hands on a few. Unless you were really lucky and got them coming straight out of the uh, post office. And here is one we do not see very often at all. I think we found four of them, but two of them were very bad condition. And this is Benjamin Britten, the composer. In very nice condition. The other one we've got is pretty nice too, I think. So we'll have a look though and see if that's any better. We're probably the best find of the hunt so far. Another tail of Peter Rabbit there poking through. Yeah, I hope you guys are well, especially if you're still watching this. Uh, it's kind of a slow hunt. Found a Sherlock though, there, look. That one's got a nasty scrape along him. So I probably won't bother keeping that. I've got quite a few in nice condition. Another pattern in at the Tower of London. All it takes is one coin. We've still got another I think seven bags here. Whoops. One or two of them might have been from this bag, but they're just Britannias. So are they. <laughs> Twenty seventeen Benjamin Bunny. Nicer condition than the one we've already found though. Of course, very common. Is it twenty five million or something of those? Something like that.
There's another Tom Kitten. And another Tom Kitten. That is a bit weird. Looking at you with those eyes. Last five bags. That's 100 more coins. And I'm still dropping them. There's one we've not had today. And again, it's not an Olympic, it's the Commonwealth Games Glasgow 2014. Again, fairly common though, and only face value. And there's Girl Guiding. Becoming harder to find as well, along with the, the Scouting one, in my opinion, but still face value really. If you wanted to buy one, it'd probably cost you a pound on eBay, I guess. Didn't pay more than that for it. We have done very well in our hunts recently, so we are probably due a, a bit of a duff one, and this might be it. Hopefully we don't get on a run of them. That's the last thing we'd want. And there's another Paddington in the Tower of London. We are finding a lot of Paddingtons. And there's a Sherlock that's probably worth keeping. Better condition there. And there's Scouts. That's a bit rough though, that one. The Hastings, a bit dirty though, so probably wouldn't keep that. One in decent conditions, probably worth a bit more than face value. Probably one of the best coins we've found though today in the hunt. If you like rare 50ps and you haven't seen my video on the 1992 proof set, Go and check that out. Posted it a couple of days ago. And there's another Team GB. With these, I always instantly look for the die rotation on it because I do have one with the die rotation on. Yeah, there's a nice, uh, one of the rarest 50 piece to ever circulate. And the UK is in the. Uh, 1992 proof set. Yeah, go and check that out. If this hasn't fulfilled your need for some rare 50p's, might go and watch it myself now. Because we've found nothing rare in this lot today, unfortunately. But there's another Paddington. But if you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I'll find the hunt. Probably Benjamin Britton. Lovely condition one as well. And a couple of Team GBs, which I think are probably worth mentioning just with the upcoming 2020 Team GB coin, which is looking like a stunner. But thanks a lot, guys. Come back soon. We'll have another 50p hunt up. Maybe not tomorrow. We'll probably put it up on Monday. And we'll see what we can bring you next week. See you all soon. Later.